I don't know what it was about the Bugaloos, but for whatever reason, as a preteen growing up in the 70s, this show completely fascinated me. I love the theme song, Talk About an Earworm. And like all shows from Sid and Marty Croft, the program itself was absolutely bonkers. And then there was this young lady, Carolina Ellis, who played Joy, the only female musician in the band. Her life has been an interesting one, and if you're willing to hang out with me for just a few minutes, I'll do my best to bring you up to speed. Airing on Saturday mornings from 1970 to 1972, the Bugaloos chronicled the adventures of four British-accented teenagers who live in Tranquility Forest. Now, for some strange reason, they chose to wear insect-themed outfits with antennae and wings that somehow allowed them to fly. Episode after episode, the Bugaloos would thwart the evil deeds of Benita Bazaar, played by comedian Martha Ray. Sid and Marty Croft regular Billy Barty also starred in the show as a mischievous firefly named Sparky. The Bugaloos were actually meant to be Sid and Marty Croft's answer to the monkeys. Casting calls went out across all parts of the United Kingdom searching for talented and good-looking musicians to join a band. At first, there was no mention that this band was going to be part of a Saturday morning kids program in the US. And perhaps because of that, the producers were beset with talented musicians auditioning for the roles. One of the musicians who auditioned and did not, I repeat, did not get a part in the show was Phil Collins. Phil would join Genesis just a few months later. Can you imagine how music history would have changed if Phil had become a bugaloo? I shudder to think about the great songs that may have never happened. Because the Bugaloos were the Croft Brothers' answer to the Monkees, they had an album. It was actually a pretty good one, but it didn't have the kind of success that the Monkees had. A single was released, but it didn't even crack the Billboard Top 100. Still, the theme song is absolutely great, one of the best out there if you ask me, and if I were to pit it against the Monkees' theme song, I would pick the Bugaloos' song every single time. But enough about the Bugaloos. We're here to talk about Joy. Oops, I mean Caroline. Prior to the Bugaloos, Caroline had appeared in a UK television adaptation of Sherlock Holmes titled The Boscombe Valley Mystery. And after the Bugaloos, Caroline starred in a handful of episodes of a British kids TV show called Freewheelers. And then a few years later, Caroline found herself in this thing. I've never seen this movie myself but a lot of folks have told me about it. And from what I understand, you can see more of Caroline, way more of Caroline in this movie, just by doing a simple search right here on YouTube. After that movie, Caroline's world changed dramatically. So much so that she took a step back from acting so that she could focus on her new marriage and then later on, a daughter. Caroline and her little family moved to Spain where the climate was similar to what she'd experienced in California while filming the Bugaloos. And although her marriage would not last, Caroline's love for Spain and its people would endure. She thought it was the perfect place to raise her little girl and as such she became a realtor and began helping others find a place to call home, just like she had. And Caroline, well she's never turned her back on those fans who loved her as Joy on the Bugaloos. And for those folks who want to stay up to date with what's going on in her world, she's fairly active on Facebook, which is where she let fans know that she would be attending the first annual CroftCon event scheduled for May 21st, 2022. And wouldn't you know it, I was there when she called in all the way from Spain. It was so wonderful to see her live and it was even cooler to watch her interact with Sid and Marty Croft. Now, in case you're wondering, that feller there with his arms folded to the right of the event's host is none other than Butch Patrick, good ol' Eddie Munster himself. And Butch, it turns out, had a confession for Caroline. You see, Butch, who would star in the Sid and Marty Croft show Lidsville, told the brothers that he really wasn't interested in doing the show, and it was only after a promise by the duo that he would get a chance to meet Caroline that he accepted their offer. That's just how popular Caroline was during the early 70s. And based on the response that she got at CroftCon, I'd say she's still pretty darn loved. Were you a fan of the Bugaloos? If so, please share your memories in the comments section below. And while you're at it, I would love a thumbs up and be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, 
the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.